Hey everyone, welcome to Joystick Lab. In this part of our tutorial, we're going to talk about the object manipulations. Last time we worked on our AR app where we basically loaded the asset from the Google uh, Cloud, right? Uh, now we can currently place all the objects but we cannot manipulate any of them so we're going to work on that today now the first thing that we want to do is basically I want to upgrade my project into unity uh, 2020 all right so to do that I can basically go to this uh, project window uh, in the unity hub and then I should select the 2020.2 so the reason behind this is that I uh, number number one I want to keep updated with all the recent updates that Unity provided with this AR Foundation and Unity 2020, and the second is basically we are going to use some of the packages which are basically kind of doesn't work well with 2019. So I thought it's it's a good time that we move up move up our project from the old Unity version to the new one because I have found that there is a few settings that you need to tweak which doesn't match with the, the 19 version. So all right, so let's get started. Uh, first thing first, we are going to um, basically install a few packages. So to do that, you need to go to window and then package manager. Now when you come in here uh, for 2020.2, there is no option right inside this window box to check the preview packages because not all the packages that you see here um, is going to be there by default, right? The reason behind that is that uh, Unity, like some of the package in Unity, um, they are basically still in preview mode. So to see all those assets, all we need to do is basically click on the setting icon and then go to advanced project settings. And from there you need to select enable uh, preview packages. All right. And then you need to hit I understand. All right. Now, after that, we need to make sure that we have the air foundation imported. Make sure you update your version. So if it's not um, 4.0.12, click on the update button that you can find out here in the bottom right so I'm going to uh, update the AR foundation I have already done that the XR plugin for AR core there is the XR interaction toolkit you can find all these packages by simply going in the unity registry and then start searching for XR and then you can find all of them we need the XR interaction toolkit um, then AR Core XR plugin and XR plugin management. All right. So when all of this um, is basically imported and installed, um, then just pause the video, install all, all these tools, and then come back. I'm also going to update my interaction tool to the latest one. All right. So all the packages are installed to make sure that you installed all the correct package uh, have a look into all this all these packages that I have installed we actually don't need any of this 2d sprite so we can get rid of that uh, I don't know why that is installed in my computer but yeah so make sure you have installed all these uh, packages and then we can get started all right so now now that we have all the packages installed the next thing that we need to do is go to edit then project settings and in the project settings, there is an option called XR plugin management. So click on there and make sure that AR core is selected. So if you don't select this one, uh, then when you build your app into your Android phone, the camera will not work. All right. So make sure you select this AR core uh, plugin and click on the AR core uh, option in the sub menu inside the XR plugin management and make sure that that the requirement is required okay okay awesome um, then we need to finally go to edit and build settings go to our player settings and I need to make sure that the graphics API is only open GL we don't uh, like the Vulkan API is not supported in Android so we need to make sure that's not in the like in the collection then we need to make sure that the minimum 
API level is at least uh, like uh, 27 uh, I think so I'm going to use 27 um, what else so in some cases we might need to allow the unsafe code but for now it's fine so we don't need to worry about that and uh, yeah so let's make a build and see if it's actually making a build or not and then we can start working on our project alright so my build was successful so we are actually done setting up our project now let's head back to the actual part where we are going to um, basically do all the logical stuff alright so oh, I'm going to actually um, maybe finish up this part in this tutorial and in the next, next part we are going to um, start working on the actual logic because this has already been six minutes so I don't want to make this tutorial really big so this tutorial is just going to be update our project into 2020 and do the, all the setups and the next tutorial we are going to actually work on the interactable alright